Hello, today I'm going to visit the Gustav Klimt Golden Motion Exhibit at Hall de Lumière, New York. The place is located at 49 Chamber Street. This is the first immersive exhibition held in this place. Stepping into the exhibition hall was exciting, creating a feeling that cannot be explained without being physically here. Hans Macar was an Austrian academic history painter and has a huge influence on Klimt. Here we see decorative paintings from 19th century Vienna. The columns and title cages were kept from the original bank architecture. The building was known as the Emigrant Industrial Savings Bank and was built in the early 1900s in the Beaux-Arts style. Klimt was the first president of the Vienna Secession Movement, which is an aesthetic revolution. The focus of the movement was to highlight artists from all around the world and to move away from strict adherence to traditional modes and rules of art. I was surrounded by the epic feeling that was created by Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. This artwork, celebrating Beethoven, is still on display at the Vienna Secession Building. The Tree of Life and its branches, growing slowly and enveloping the audience. This is one of Klimt's monumental scale works. Palace Athena was used as the poster for the second exhibition of the Secession. It was a symbol of the fight for artistic freedom. This painting is one of the works that reflects two of Klimt's common themes, femme fatale and threat to life. Here is Klimt's best known work to date, The Kiss. The infinite cosmos of the golden fox surrounds the lovers, not only them, but it also envelops the visitors. Egon Schiele was an Austrian expressionist, painter and draftsman. He was known for his erotic depictions, disturbing intensity and twisted bodies. The projected golden flakes spread around and it creates an illusion of being inside a golden nebula. I felt like I was floating in space while walking. Unlike other immersive exhibitions, Golden Motion seems to have become an artwork on its own. It was a complete journey. Unterwasser was a 20th century artist, printmaker and architect. Inspired by the Vienna Secession movement, especially by the work of Egon Schiele and Gustav Klimt. Later, he became an environmental activist. Five Moments is a 10 minute audio visual experience. The work includes five different types of dance choreography that are showcased by five performers. The exhibition is shown simultaneously in the basement and there are a couple of areas worth seeing. One of these areas is an artwork that was placed in the bank's vault. The basement is designed differently than the ground level. It is a more comfortable environment. Here, I felt like I need to dance, move around the space. I think it also creates a space for having a kinesthetic experience. 
The mirrors on the columns allow visitors to see the artwork from various angles. Also, you can take nice mirror selfies if that's your thing. Honestly, I did not feel as immersed in the paintings as I felt at the ground level due to the many distractions on this floor. What makes visiting a bank interesting and exciting? I think it's getting into the vault. The immersive short movie experience placed in the vault, which was covered with mirrors, creating an infinite illusion, the feeling of eternity. The Golden Motion exhibition was the most immersive experience that I have ever been to. I felt like I was doing a sort of time travel, while Klimt and Underwasser made me feel like I'm in the past. Five moments brought me to the present, and Recording Entropia opened the door to the future. The whole exhibition takes about one hour, but I stayed there longer. I really enjoyed it. The exhibition is open until December 31st. Thank you for following me through this journey. See you next time!